What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video, I have massive news for those of you on iOS 12.1.3, 12.1.4 and 12.2. Finally, a TFP0 kernel exploit has been released for this version by Ned Williamson. I told you he's going to release his exploit and it was obvious he was going to do it because the bug has already been patched in iOS 12.3 back in May. So there was no point into keeping it private. He said in here, quote, my iOS 12.2 exploit is now available. Thanks again to Brandon for his help in getting through the Mac trenches from BSD and he posted a link to chromium.org in here and it's basically the uh, the page of the exploit and you have all the files including the suck puppet that's the way it was called and by default it only works with iPhone 6s plus but that's just a matter of offsets we can just add the uh, missing offsets and most of them would work anyways from a device to another on iOS 12.2 so no problem with that I've already started updating my jailbreak, the Osiris jailbreak, to work with iOS 12.1.3, 12.1.4, and 12.2. Unfortunately, this exploit is not compatible with 12.3, 12.3.1, 12.4 or iOS 13. So the only jailbreaks that we can build with it are for 12.2, 12.1.4 and 12.1.3 and possibly even lower because it might be compatible with older versions as well, which means that we might be able to remove the other exploits that we used for 12.0 up to 12.1.2 and have a single stable exploit for all these versions. Unfortunately, all the versions that are supported by this exploit are versions that are no longer signed by Apple, as you can see from here. So iOS 12.3 and 12.3.1 people still need to wait for a jailbreak. However, for the 12.2, 12.4 and 12.3 people, the jailbreak will probably come in the next hours. So yeah, thank you for watching. This is pretty much what we've been waiting for. The TFP0 exploit has been released. We can update Uncover, we can update Chimera, I can update my jailbreak of Cyrus. I can update GeoFiles, which is basically files that no jailbreak. I can create a known setter if you want to downgrade and stuff like that. So it's definitely a very nice thing. That's what we've been waiting for. So yeah, thank you for watching. We'll keep you updated with the updates for the jailbreaks that we currently have once they get updated for iOS 12.2 and lower. Until the next time, I'm GSNow. Subscribe to stay updated and peace out.